You probably already know the 12 note chromatic scale comprised of the seven musical alphabet letters and the five sharp flat notes that fall in between them. So why is it that you don't have the fretboard memorized? There's no denying that learning the chromatic scale is an essential piece of the guitar theory jigsaw. But it's just not enough to get you to fretboard memorization in which you can instantly recall any note on any of the six strings. The fact is that the chromatic scale is simply a sequence of notes, like a sequence of numbers. And the guitar strings don't all begin from the same note in that sequence. It's only helpful if you count up fret by fret from the open strings. This can only get you so far. Use octave shapes, people say. Now that has some value, but if you have to imagine the octave link ups in your mind and hand each time to name a note, it's already too late. You want to be able to effortlessly recall any note on any string in an instant. And the only way you can ever hope to do that is to practice exactly that. So what's the solution? You need to work on note finding exercises that randomize the order of the notes rather than working through a chromatic fret by fret sequence. You could work with some sort of note randomizer, but a much more musical approach would be to use the circle of fourths. It's very easy to Google search a circle of fifths. Read it counterclockwise and you have a circle of ascending perfect fourths. A perfect fourth is the distance from the first to the fourth note of any major scale, five frets horizontally. Ascending fourth is particularly valuable to us guitarists. I'll explain why in just a moment. You'll notice that arranging the notes in this way forms another closed loop, much like the chromatic scale. The exercise I want you to try is to work on a single horizontal string. First, find the C note, then find the F, B flat, E flat, working through the circle of fourths until you're back to the starting note C. You'll find that you're jumping around the string, challenging your recall and not simply working fret by fret through the chromatic scale. I want you to do this every day. If you need to count through the chromatic scale initially or refer to a fretboard chart, that is okay. The key thing is that you're doing the work necessary to memorize the fretboard. Begin with the thicker strings as they're beneficial for placement of chords and scale patterns on the correct root note. As you feel ready, you can add a metronome click to the exercise to get you laser focused and try to build the BPM until you can find each note without thinking about it anymore. The key benefit of this approach is that as you do this exercise, you're going to be memorizing the circle of fourths. And why this is so beneficial is because it is the order of the notes in any given fret when you work down towards the floor. Taking the example of the G note at the third fret of string six. As I move down across the strings towards the floor, I will have the circle of fourths in the third fret. Why this works is because the strings are tuned a perfect fourth apart. You can even see the order of the open strings in the circle. But wait, there's a problem. Strings three and two are three alphabet letters a major third apart. Major third to perfect fourth is one horizontal fret higher towards the guitar body. So as you cross strings three and two, you must always raise one fret for the sequence of ascending fourths to be correct. I'll end at A flat G sharp on the fourth fret, jump back up to string six for that same note two octaves lower. And I can carry on again across the strings, always raising that one fret on string two. Jump down and continue until I'm back at G on string four at the fifth fret. You can of course do the opposite and move up across the strings towards the ceiling as you go clockwise around the circle of fifths.
So the circle of fourths, circle of fifths is huge for fretboard memorization, but it's an even better tool for mastering music theory. My ebook, The Guitarist's Guide to the Circle of Fifths now has a physical release on Amazon. And for an insight into why you really need to read this book, click on the video right here.